Behind me is my 2011 Chevy Volt. For those of you that are not familiar with the Chevy Volt, it is an extended range electric hybrid, which means that it runs on electric power and when the electric or when the battery runs out of energy, it switches over to a gas engine that acts as a generator to power the electric motors. Now, um, the 2011 Chevy Volt is rated to run on electric power for about 35 miles. I typically see my range anywhere between 25 on really cold days in the winter or mountainous driving to a high of uh, 40 to 45 miles on nice warm days um, with just normal driving. Now, um, one of the questions that I get quite, about, quite a bit about the Volt is what the gas mileage is when the electric runs out. So I want to go over, um, just show you some of the stats on the vehicle computer and give you an idea of what you might be able to expect for gas mileage on the Volt once the battery runs out. So first of all, I wanted to show you, this is the mileage of my current tank of fuel. So you can see that I've gone 518.2 miles on 2.4 gallons for an average of 212 miles per gallon. If we rotate over, this is um, basically since the vehicle was brand new. I've gone a total of 72,626.3 miles using 294.3 gallons for a lifetime average of 246.7 miles per gallon. Now the Volt also keeps track of the mileage on a daily basis. So if we push this little leaf button here and we come up to the energy info tab, this shows us the stats for today. So on the vehicle today, we've gone 28.5 miles on electric charge. Um, after completing um, or using up the electric energy, we switched over to gas. We went 34.3 miles on gasoline only and used 0.86 gallons for a total range of 62.8. So you can see there um, that your gas mileage based off 0.86 at 34.3 miles. It gives you an idea of what the gas uh, gas mileage is once the electric has run out. Now um, this was on uh, some driving where we did a significant amount of downhill and so um, the electric we used to climb quite a bit in elevation approximately 3,000 feet of elevation um, on almost solely electric before switching over to gas and then on the downhill, or on the descent, we were able to coast quite a bit. Um, so the, these numbers are a little bit better than what you might sometimes see on the Volt. Um, I've, depending on the type of driving, you're gonna see quite a different range um, as far as the gas mileage, anywhere between about 35 miles per gallon if you're driving interstate driving at 75 to 80 miles an hour and really using quite a bit of fuel. If you're driving around town, in gas mode um, going 35 miles an hour then you're probably going to see closer to 40 or 45 miles per gallon. So based on those gas mileage numbers what you'll see with the Volt is that it really shines when it's in electric mode. Once you switch over to gas mode um, it loses a little bit of its effectiveness and if you think about it the battery pack in this vehicle that allows it to go 35 miles on electric is extremely heavy. Um, and there are benefits and negatives to that. Uh, one of the benefits is that the handling of the car is really good because there's a lot of weight that's right down the center of the vehicle and at a very low center of gravity. Um, obviously the battery is good because you're able to not use fuel for those first 35 miles. But once you run out of that electric range, you've got a relatively small vehicle with a small gasoline engine that's carrying a lot of weight around. And so that can affect the gas mileage. So the Volt is really the ideal vehicle for somebody that has a commute, round trip commute that's around 35 miles or less um, in the 2011 variation. The newer ones have a range of 50 on electric. Um, or if you've got a one-way commute that's 35 miles or less and you have the ability to charge um, when you get to your destination, then it really shines there. Um, the uh, kind of beyond that, if you've got a really long commute, an all-electric vehicle or um, a hybrid may be more beneficial than the plug-in. It just kind of depends on how many miles you're going to be driving on highway driving because that's not really where it shines. It's more of an in-town vehicle that has the ability to go longer trips and reduces any range anxiety because you have almost unlimited range. So just a little bit of uh, information on gas mileage on the Volt. Uh, if you have any questions, leave your comments in the section below.